The Wheeler DeWitt equation is a field equation. It is part of a theory that attempts to combine mathematically the ideas of quantum mechanics and general relativity, a step towards a theory of quantum gravity. In this approach, time plays a role different from what it does in non relativistic quantum mechanics, leading to the so called problem of time. More specifically, the equation describes the quantum version of the Hamiltonian constraint using metric variables. Its commutation relations with the diffeomorphism constraints generate the Bergman Comer group, which is the diffeomorphism group on shell. Topic: <laughs> Quantum gravity. All defined and understood descriptions of string m theory deal with fixed asymptotic conditions on the background spacetime. At infinity, the right choice of the time coordinate t is determined because the spacetime is asymptotic to some fixed spacetime in every description so there is a preferred definition of the hamiltonian with non-zero eigenvalues to evolve states of the system forwards in time this avoids all the need to dynamically generate a time dimension using the wheeler dewitt equation thus the equation has not played a role in string theory thus far there could exist a Wheeler-DeWitt style manner to describe the bulk dynamics of quantum theory of gravity. Some experts believe that this equation still holds the potential for understanding quantum gravity. However, decades after the equation was published, completely different approaches, such as string theory, have brought physicists as clear results about quantum gravity. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Motivation and background. In canonical gravity, spacetime is foliated into spacelike submanifolds. The three metric, i.e., metric on the hypersurface, is gamma i j display style gamma underscore i j, and given by g mu nu d x mu d x nu equals minus n 2 plus beta k beta k d t 2 plus 2 beta k d x k d t plus gamma i j d x i d x j display style g underscore mu nu mathrm d x caret mu mathrm d x caret nu equals n caret 2 plus beta underscore k beta caret k mathrm d t caret 2 plus 2 beta underscore k mathrm d x caret k mathrm d t plus gamma underscore i j mathrm d x caret i mathrm d x caret j in that equation the Roman indices run over the values 1, 2, 3 and the Greek indices run over the values 1, 2, 3, 4. The three metric gamma i j display style gamma underscore i j is the field and we denote its conjugate momenta as pi k l display style pi caret k l the Hamiltonian is a constraint characteristic of most relativistic systems. H equals one two gamma g i j k l pi i j pi k l minus gamma three R equals zero. Display style math call h equals frac one two sqrt gamma g underscore i j k l pi caret i j pi caret k l sqrt gamma caret three r equals zero, where gamma equals det gamma i j 
display style gamma equals debt gamma underscore i j and g i j k l equals gamma i k gamma j l plus gamma i l gamma j k minus gamma i j gamma k l Display style G underscore I J K L equals Gamma underscore ik Gamma underscore J L plus Gamma underscore ill Gamma underscore J K Gamma underscore I J Gamma underscore K L is the Wheeler DeWitt metric. Quantization puts hats on the momenta and field variables, that is, the functions of numbers in the classical case become operators that modify the state function in the quantum case. Thus we obtain the operator h caret equals 1 2 gamma g caret i j k l pi caret i j pi caret k l minus gamma 3 r caret display style wide hat math call h equals frac 1 2 sqrt gamma wide hat g underscore ijkl wide hat pi caret ij wide hat pi caret kl sqrt gamma caret 3 wide hat r working in position space these operators are gamma caret i J T X K Gamma I J T X K Display style hat gamma underscore I J T X carrot K to gamma underscore I J T X carrot K Pi carrot I J T X K minus I delta delta gamma I J T X K display style hat pi caret I J T X caret K to I frac delta delta gamma underscore I J T X caret K one can apply the operator to a general wave functional of the metric h caret psi gamma equals 0 display style wide hat math call h psi gamma equals 0 where psi gamma equals a plus psi x gamma x d x 3 plus psi x y gamma x gamma y d x 3 d y 3 plus Display style psi gamma equals a plus int psi x gamma x dx caret three plus int int psi x y gamma x gamma y dx caret three di caret three plus, which would give a set of constraints amongst the coefficients psi x y display style psi x y which means the amplitudes for n gravitons at certain positions is related to the amplitudes for a different number of gravitons at different positions or one could use the two field formalism treating omega g display style omega g as an independent field so the wave function is psi gamma omega display style psi gamma omega
Topic: <laughs> Derivation from path integral. The Wheeler-DeWitt equation can be derived from a path integral using the gravitational action in the Euclidean quantum gravity paradigm. Z equals C E minus I G mu nu phi d g d phi display style z equals int underscore c mathrm e caret i g underscore mu nu phi math call d math bf g math call d phi where one integrates over a class of Riemannian four metrics and matter fields matching certain boundary conditions. Because the concept of a universal time coordinate seems unphysical, and at odds with the principles of general relativity, the action is evaluated around a three metric which we take as the boundary of the classes of four metrics and on which a certain configuration of matter fields exists. This latter might for example be the current configuration of matter in our universe as we observe it today. Evaluating the action so that it only depends on the three metric and the matter fields is sufficient to remove the need for a time coordinate as it effectively fixes a point in the evolution of the universe. We obtain the Hamiltonian constraint from delta i e h delta n equals zero. Display style frac delta one underscore a delta n equals zero, where i e h display style i underscore a is the Einstein-Hilbert action, and n display style n is the lapse function, i.e. the Lagrange multiplier for the Hamiltonian constraint. The demand for this variation of our gravitational action to vanish corresponds, in fact, to the background independence in general relativity. This is purely classical so far. We can recover the Wheeler-DeWitt equation from delta z delta n equals zero equals delta i g mu nu Phi delta n sigma exp minus i g mu nu phi d g d phi Display style frac delta z delta n equals zero equals int left frac delta one g underscore mu nu phi delta n right underscore sigma exp left i g underscore mu nu phi right math call d math bf g math call d phi where sigma display style sigma is the three-dimensional boundary. Observe that this expression vanishes, implying that the functional derivative also vanishes, giving us the Wheeler-DeWitt equation. A similar statement may be made for the diffeomorphism constraint take functional derivative with respect to the shift functions instead. Mathematical formalism The Wheeler-DeWitt equation is a functional differential equation. It is ill-defined in the general case, but very important in theoretical physics, especially in quantum gravity. It is a functional differential equation on the space of three-dimensional spatial metrics. The Wheeler-DeWitt equation has the form of an operator acting on a wave functional, the functional reduces to a function in cosmology. Contrary to the general case, the Wheeler-DeWitt equation is well-defined in mini-superspaces like the configuration space of cosmological theories. An example of such a wave function is the hartle hawking state. Bryce DeWitt first published this equation in 1967 under the name Einstein-Schrödinger equation. It was later renamed the Wheeler-DeWitt equation. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Hamiltonian constraint. Simply speaking, the Wheeler-DeWitt equation says where H carrot x display style hat H x 
is the Hamiltonian constraint in quantized general relativity and psi display style psi wrangle stands for the wave function of the universe unlike ordinary quantum field theory or quantum mechanics the hamiltonian is a first class constraint on physical states we also have an independent constraint for each point in space although the symbols h caret display style hat h and psi display style psi wrangle may appear familiar, their interpretation in the Wheeler-DeWitt equation is substantially different from non-relativistic quantum mechanics. Psi wrangle is no longer a spatial wave function in the traditional sense of a complex-valued function that is defined on a three-dimensional space-like surface and normalized to unity. Instead it is a functional of field configurations on all of spacetime. This wave function contains all of the information about the geometry and matter content of the universe. H caret display style hat h is still an operator that acts on the Hilbert space of wave functions, but it is not the same Hilbert space as in the non-relativistic case, and the Hamiltonian no longer determines evolution of the system. So the Schrödinger equation h caret psi equals I T psi display style hat h psi wrangle equals I h b a r partial partial t psi wrangle no longer applies. This property is known as timelessness. The reemergence of time requires the tools of decoherence and clock operators, or the use of a scalar field. Topic: Momentum constraint. We also need to augment the Hamiltonian constraint with momentum constraints p x psi equals zero. Display style vec math call p x left psi right wrangle equals zero. Associated with spatial diffeomorphism invariance. In many superspace approximations, we only have one Hamiltonian constraint instead of infinitely many of them. In fact, the principle of general covariance in general relativity implies that global evolution per se does not exist. The time t display style t is just a label we assign to one of the coordinate axes. Thus, what we think about as time evolution of any physical system is just a gauge transformation, similar to that of QED induced by U one local gauge transformation psi e i theta r psi display style psi right arrow e caret i theta vec r psi where theta r display style theta vec r plays the role of local time the role of a hamiltonian is simply to restrict the space of the kinematic states of the universe to that of physical states the ones that follow gauge orbits for this reason we call it a Hamiltonian constraint. Upon quantization, physical states become wave functions that lie in the kernel of the Hamiltonian operator. In general, the Hamiltonian vanishes for a theory with general covariance or time scaling invariance. See also ADM formalism Diffeomorphism constraint Euclidean quantum gravity Regi calculus Canonical quantum gravity Perez metric Loop quantum gravity